Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video about setting up an unencrypted GRE tunnels between two Cisco RV series routers, in this case, particularly the RV345 routers. So I didn't find any guide of how to make this thing online, and there are just guys that use command line interface, but in this router, as of today, there is no way to connect to this router uh, through a uh, command line interface, through SSH or Telnet, there is no way. It's not supported as of now. So, the only way to configure it is through their, uh, the router's own web interface. But um, their interface doesn't have um, many explanations and uh, the help file only re repeats the the name of the uh, field that you are you are required to to input. So, okay, let's get on with it. So you need uh, to. Uh, I I've set up the, these two routers uh, as for testing purposes. They are behind another router. So this uh, IP right here is the uh, WAN IP, the wide area network IP of the routers, and I have enabled. Uh, access through WAN uh, in the settings of this router. So we what what we want to do is log in with the username and password in the first router. Mm, I can show you this is router one. Uh, this is the VLANs that are currently configured. So, what you need to do is go to VPN, then and create a new tunnel. So, this is going to be a GRE1. Tunnel description is going to be whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna call my ton tunnel one. Uh, you gotta enable it. You gotta pick the source from where the traffic is going to flow. So I have uh, connected this router only to wide area network two. So I'm gonna choose this one. This is the important bit. The destination should be the wide area network of the second router. In this case. In this case, dot one dot three. This is the wide area network of this router, the second one. The IP address of the GRE tunnel should be something um, uh, a local uh, subnet, but this subnet shouldn't be uh, on any VLANs that you have created so far. So um, I, I think mine's going to be one two one seven two dot sixteen. 16.1.1 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So okay. I'm sorry, this thing is a bit finicky. So you gotta save the configuration before uh, you can make any changes the GRE tunnel table because they are not uh, they are not going to show up any changes you made so uh, here we go again so tunnel 1 enable we set wide area network 2 destination is the wide area network network IP of the second router so uh, that one that three uh, local IP address for this router uh, for this uh, GRE tunnel, sorry so 1.1 one one, uh, the subnet mask is, is uh, 2.5.0 so I'll click apply and let's see if this time the GRE tunnel is gonna show up it's taking a bit longer so I guess it will show up Let's see.
okay so there we go uh, this thing uh, says connected but uh, even when you enable it is it, it always says connected so this connect connection stat status doesn't mean anything so uh, we're going to test this uh, in a little bit so uh, we go to the second browser enter the username and password Okay, and we do the same thing in the VPN. Uh, let's see here, tunnel. Okay, and uh, you can see that the save the running configuration is flashing, and so I don't know if it's going to save this configuration that I'm typing in right now, but we will see about this. So, again tunnel description anything you like I'm gonna name it again tunnel tunnel one I'm gonna enable it again this is the wide area network uh, uh, this router is connected to wide area network number two so this router has two ports so this is number two the destination is the the destination is the wide area network na uh, IP sorry IP of the first router so one this is the wide area network, not the local IP. I'm saying this again, so one, two. This is the IP address of the GRE tunnel, but in this case, uh, we're gonna finish this IP, local IP address with a two, because this is the second router. Uh, okay and we click apply let's see it's taking a bit longer so so I guess it will show up okay there it is so we have enabled a GRE tunnel on both routers but uh, in order to ping uh, both routers through the GRE tunnel, you gotta uh, you gotta do something else. You gotta uh, make a static route. But first, let's see, let's check if the configuration so far uh, with the local GRE IP address you can ping the other router. So go to administration diagnostic ping or trace and let's see one seven two this is the second router you can see it right right here so router number two sixteen dot one dot one was the IP address that one was the IP address of router number one so let's ping it and see what happens okay so we get a reply and again if we go to the first router go to administration yes diagnostic and we ping the IP of the GRE tunnel 172.116.1.2 was the second router let's see if we get a reply yes and we get a reply so in order to finish the configuration, if I if I do a ping 192.168.124.254, so 124 was the VLAN of the second router. I didn't show you this. I think let me show you real quick. LAN VLAN settings, and there it is. So. I'm trying from I'm connected to the first router through a cable so I'm trying to ping through the GRE tunnel the second router let's see what happens nothing happens the destination is not reachable so to have a GRE connection between the two routers and the computers connected to them you have to do one more thing so we have to go to routing static routing and the IP 
v4 root table you need to add an entry so the network is the subnet of the second router so 192.168.124 in this case that's zero and the next hop is going to be the IP address of the second router uh, but the local GRE IP address so 172.16.1.2 and this is the important bit the interface should be GRE1 so we want to pass the packets to GRE1 we hit apply so okay we go to the second router and do the same thing routing static routing but in this case we gotta add the subnet of the first router so 192.168.123 is the subnet of the first router and this is the IP address of the first router and the interface should be again GRE1 and hit apply so if everything is good we should be able to ping again and there you go I'm pinging the second router and I'm connected through the to the first router uh, let me show you status and statistics oh there you go I'm connected to this router 1 this port right here the 11 the 11 port so I'm able to ping the second router through the GRE tunnel if I ping my local router my, my local gateway is the same thing so that's it I hope this is helpful to someone don't forget to save your configuration before you exit that's it bye